to level course for the January February online competition. This was our first effort. We had to step into the hula hoop without our feet, horse's feet, touching the hula hoop. That was the first obstacle. She did that very well. And then I had to go and stand in the other hula hoop for a count of five. So I'm losing marks here on my rope being tight. But I'm trying to put a bit of energy behind her elbow to get her to just free up a little bit. Just as we started filming, we had a lovely sunny morning. The heavens opened, so it was actually raining at this point. Now that little puddle there, I suddenly realise is where she often drinks when she's loose in the yard. You wouldn't believe it. She's got a lovely clean water trough, but she drinks from that puddle. Okay, so now we have to back over this pole. So we have to walk front feet over first. She's got stuck. Completely stuck. She's seen a pole before. There you go. Good. Okay, she then goes, oh, you want me to walk over the pole? I'm asking her to back up. And really, her feet shouldn't touch the pole. I'm afraid we aren't that good yet. That's good. What I like there is her attitude because she's really looking at me. I'm not chasing her backwards. I'm asking her to step back. So to me, it's more important at this stage that I get a nice backward step rather than um, her not touching the pole. I don't want to start raising my energy in that back up yet because she does tend to throw her head up. Okay, into scary corner. Now what I've been working on with her is that if she's worried about anything, not that she really shows real worry, if she shows any sort of concern, I encourage her to go and put her nose on it or at least let her go and have a good look. So she's got stuck going into our scary corner. Good. Very nice. I'm sort of swinging her front end to one side to the other very gently just to keep those feet free. So I've got some flags, some cones and secrets rug hung up over the fence. And I thought, oh, make this a bit more interesting. I'll pick the flag up. See what she thinks about that. There, very nice, very good. I'm very pleased with that. She actually accepts the touch of most things but the human hand. Human hand, she still quivers over. But flags and brushes and things like that, she's actually fine about. So I think the, the quivering with the human touch will go. Now, she actually quite likes being in that scary corner because she does spend a bit of time there. The salt licks in there, so she's very comfortable. She wants to look at that rug. Okay, now our next obstacle, which I think is obstacle number five, is a jump. There's no way I'm working on jumping with this pony. And now, did you see her stop there? That was because I moved in an odd way. She's never seen me look like a frog climbing over something before. So it really, wow, what were you doing? Good. Brilliant, good. Now, interesting piece coming up here. All right, into the L bend, trying to get her to move in. now. I forgot for a minute what I was dealing with. Look at that. She spooked. Then she hit the pole. And then I reached out at the moment when her adrenaline was high and she went, oh my God, we're all going to die. That is the biggest spook I have ever seen this pony do. And what I find interesting from my personal development point of view was I forgot what I was dealing with for a minute. I became focused on the L bend. Isn't that interesting? Quite happy to share that with you. I had forgotten I was dealing with basically an unhandled pony. So I behaved as if I was dealing with a pony that's seen all this before, never seen it before. And she's been through this curtain twice. It's actually never been a problem. She doesn't mind it. Look at that. It was never, it's never been difficult getting through that curtain with her. Now with this obstacle here, the two, the two poles, we have to bring her forward so her front feet are just beyond the end of the poles. I'm losing loads of mark for tight ropes here, so don't worry about it. I'm not actually scoring this round. I just want you to see it. Now I'm going to ask her to go back by just creating a little bit of rhythmic energy towards her. Now she's never back towards the curtain before with me. And if you look in a minute, watch for the moment, because her backup's actually quite good. She suddenly turns and looks over her shoulder, and it's because here it's coming now. She suddenly goes, but there's a curtain behind me. 
So what I did was, I didn't want to give up, so I changed my method of asking and I reached under her chin, just gr grasped the clip and asked her to take just a little step back. There, she looks over her shoulder. But what I like is, ears are moving, eyes are blinking. She's not, not gone into some sort of torpor, but her back legs are stuck. Okay, around the corner, the last obstacle was walk over the tarpaulin. So where the rope looks tight, it's no more than a little feel. There you go. Brilliant. Fantastic. Good. A nice start for this little pony. Do you want to go back in her stable, bless her? Too bad.